Welcome to Electron Line. One of the most useful and important geometric series is the type that we have here. It's the infinite series or infinite sum of a times x to the n minus 1. a being some sort of constant and x being the number that is associated with a value raised to an exponent n minus 1 as n goes from 1 to infinity. When you get all the terms, you end up with a plus ax plus ax squared plus ax cubed and so forth, all the way to the last term, a times x to the n minus 1, and of course at this point would be infinity. To see what kind of series it is, and of course the title gives it away, it's a geometric series, let's find the common ratio. We take one term, let's say ax squared, and we divide the previous term by the previous term ax, so this becomes x, and so x is what we call the common ratio. Every consecutive term is x times the previous term. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the general form of this equation. To do that, we start out by saying the series sub n is equal to, so we're just going to take the series as is, we get a plus ax plus ax squared plus ax cubed plus all the way up to ax to the n minus 1 power. Now we're going to take the whole series and multiply times x, x times s sub n. So this becomes ax plus ax squared plus ax cubed plus ax to the fourth power plus, and the last term would be a times x to the n power. Now if we take s sub n and subtract from that x times s sub n, what do we get? Well notice most of the terms are common. ax is common, ax squared, ax cubed, and so forth. The only term that's not common is this term right here and this term right here. What I get is I take the top series and subtract the bottom series, so I end up with this minus this term. Those are the two that are not common. I get a minus a times x to the n power. If I now factor out an s sub n, because after all I'm trying to find an equation for s sub n, I'm going to factor out an s sub n. I get s sub n times 1 minus x is equal to a, and I can factor out an a here, times 1 minus x to the n power. And then you can see solving for s sub n, I get a times 1 minus x to the n power divided by 1 minus x. Now this would be the general equation of that series. Now this series is only useful if the values for x are smaller than 1, or better yet, the absolute value of x is smaller than 1. So if we let the absolute value, let the absolute value of x smaller than 1, then we can see that these terms become smaller and smaller and smaller. Therefore they will converge. That's the assumption. And if that's true, then x to the n power, if a number smaller than 1 is raised to the n power as n goes to infinity, this term will actually go to 0, and then we'll simplify the equation. In other words, I need a little bit more board space here. If I take the limit as n approaches infinity of s sub n, that will be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of this quantity right here, which is a times 1 minus x to the n power divided by 1 minus x. And of course, in the limit as n goes to infinity, this quantity goes to 0, and then I end up with, this is equal to, in the numerator, a times 1 divided by 1 minus x. And so I can say that in the limit, as n goes to infinity, of s sub n, that is equal to a over 1 minus x, again provided, provided that x is a value smaller than 1, and that's when the series becomes extremely useful for a number of applications. Now when we look at this equation, or this final result, we can then say that as n goes to infinity, if the series is equal to a divided by 1 minus x, and a is simply a constant, whatever the constant happens to be, and x is a number smaller than 1, then we can say that this series, the series converges. 
However, that's only the case because the value for x is smaller than 1. Now, if x is larger than 1, then of course x to the n power will not go to 0, x to the n will go to infinity, and then we have a times minus x to infinity divided by 1 minus x, then the whole thing will not converge, the series will diverge. So for values for x greater than 1, the series will diverge, and, oop, oop, misspelled that, and if the x value is smaller than 1, then the series will converge. And so there's a good example of a very practical geometric series that has all kinds of good applications. At least, it serves for a very good example. See some more coming up. And that's how it's done.